Brian asked people to explain why he thought scopes were a good thing. So I thought I'd spend a bit of time doing a little video demo of my phone and showing how they work. To be clear, I'm not sure that I've worked out exactly how best to articulate this here. So I'm trying out different ideas, but hopefully this will help Brian get some sense of why I think these things are exciting. So we swipe from the left to get to the dash. The first scope in the dash lists the apps I've got installed. And then I've got a bunch of others for stuff I use a lot, like the store to install new apps, YouTube, uh, Untapped for beers, XKCD, Wikipedia. Carl Vichel described this as being like Google Now. There's, there you scroll down to see relevant things, but here you just scroll across, you swipe left. If I swipe up from the bottom, I can see the list of all the scopes on the phone, the ones I've added to the dash, and then scrolling down, the others that are installed that I haven't favorited. I can jump straight to a particular scope from the list, so music, which is a, an aggregation of music from lots of different individual music scopes. If I pull up the settings, you can see it's picking up music tracks from 7Digital, SoundCloud, GrooveShark, and I've let it see my location, so it can also show local gigs with Songkick. Back to the music scope, and I can continue swiping through videos, books in open library, eBay, meetups, showing local meetups around, Reddit, Ubuntu News. And that stuff's right there without me having to start up an app to get it. It's like Android Widgets or Metro Tiles or Conkey, in that it's right there in front of you. Importantly though, anyone can write a scope and put it in the store. Here, there's a scope showing nearby articles from Wikipedia, which I can install and then open. And it shows articles from near where I am. I've allowed this one to see my location too. If I like this scope, I can favorite it, which adds it permanently to the dash. Scopes either can contact the internet or they can read local data. They can't do both. So there's no worry about giving your personal information away. Scopes can be searched and they can aggregate other scopes. This is what that music scope from earlier does. So it's pulling together stuff from different related scopes into one place. Anyway, Brian, I hope that helps at least a bit.